to implement those skills into your daily work. You don't want to see it without job, better to be prepared. <laughs> Hi friends, welcome to my channel. It's me, Anna. Sorry for the long absence. It's still a war in Ukraine and I don't know how to properly cope with it. If you want to help Ukrainian, the link with the instruction will be down below. Today I want to analyze the curriculum or study plan, assess the requirements for candidates and to answer the question how to become data analyst or data scientist. So if you're interested, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and continue watching this video up to the very end. Based on my experience, the best start of diving into any professional area is to analyze the requirements of employers to have at least a broad understanding what to learn. So we can go to well-known site Glassdoor and put data analyst or data scientist in the search box to analyze the requirements. Or it's even better to put junior as you're just starting your career. Uh, and among all vacancies, we can highlight the key skills that a specialist must have uh, in order to get this job. So we see Python, math, experience. So the key skills that the specialists uh, like data analysts or data scientists should have are as follows. Technical competence, which means coding skills for analysis and data extraction. Sometimes it also includes data visualization skills. The next one is experience uh, of performing analysis with large data sets. Next, strong understanding of statistics and mathematics. And the last one is ML and A-B testing. But this is optional, which means not all companies require these skills. But believe me, if you're going to become super data analyst or data scientist, you will encounter machine learning and A-B testing, maybe not in the beginning of your way, but later. Okay, now we understand the key requirements for candidates. So how to satisfy all these requirements? requirements. And here we have study plan. Having learned it before and working in this field, I realized how it's easier or better to study. So in this video, I would like to share these ideas with you. So first that you should start with is math. You should understand your level of knowing math. It's good to have at least basic understanding of mathematics and algebra, like know how to solve equations or fractions. Once you understand that you know the basic algebra well, you can move on to next topics in mathematics. I should say that mathematics is also needed to understand the scientific paper uh, if you decide to stay up to date. Personally, I won mathematical olympiads when I was at school, so at the beginning of my way I just repeated all this material uh, to remind myself what is uh, derivative, limits, functions, etc. Okay, next is probability. For example, you need to detect uh, which of two commercial is successful, so you need to run videos and get the results and analyze these results. Suppose 1000 users click on the first video and 1.1 thousand click on the second video. So how do you think which one is more successful and was it a coincidence or a pattern? To answer these questions, probability theory and statistics will help you. You may find good course on Coursera or Udemy platform and to learn this topic there. The main topics that you should cover uh, are probability, dependent and independent events, Bayer's theory and etc. By the way, the probability theory is also crucial uh, when you're just applying to the job because believe me, you will get uh, the tasks on probability theory in your interview. Oh, and I'm going to share with you the task that I once received on my interview on uh, probability theory. Okay, imagine one person of people gets sick and there is a test that can detect it. If this test checks sick patient, it shows that this patient is sick with a probability of 99% and with a probability of 1%, it shows that he or she is healthy. When this test checks a healthy person, uh, 
uh, it shows with the probability of 99% that this patient is healthy and with the probability of 1% that he or she is sick. And the question is, what is the probability that person is sick if test shows that this patient is sick? Okay, write your answers in the comments below or if you would like me to discuss these tasks, also write, maybe I can make the video with typical tasks on interview, so please write down. Next, you should cover statistics. The field of statistics underpins every aspect of data analysis and knowing statistics means to be able to parse extensive data sets for high-level insights. So the main topics in statistics are data and sampling distribution, statistical experiments and significant testing, regression and predictions, and other. Still, you may find great courses on Udemy or Coursera platform and to have learning plan on this field there. Also, I would like to mention that if you want to work with A-B testing, you definitely should know statistic and probability theory because every step of A-B testing includes this knowledge. After completing learning math probability theory and statistics, you may move to learning programming languages. And the first programming language that you should know is SQL or SQL. Still, SQL is more demanded skill in data analysis than Python or R. The good question is, why do you need to know SQL? And I should say that um, data analysis would be impossible without uh, efficiency querying of the massive databases withholding data. SQL is great for performing aggregation that you usually do in Excel, like count, sum, minimum, maximum, etc., but over much larger data sets. Believe me, learning SQL is much easier than you may think, and the benefits of doing so weigh that time investment, and tasks on SQL will also, also be asked on the interview, so it's better to be prepared. <laughs> You'd better be prepared to step up your game! And please mark my words. Knowing math, probability theory, statistics, and SQL is enough for applying uh, for entry-level jobs, believe me. The next step to develop your skills in data analysis or data science is to learn Python or R. Uh, personally, I chose Python and based on some studies, this is the most popular language, uh, programming language. And I guess it's more common in the companies. Uh, and frankly speaking, I don't know any analyst who works on R. However, if you're working or on R, it doesn't mean that you need to learn Python and forget R. Uh, still use it, it's a great thing. And I guess the company doesn't care which programming language do you use for analysis. The more important your skills and your ability to um, parse data for high-level insights. If you choose Python, start with basics of it and go through main libraries of data analysis like Pandas or, uh, or NumPy. Learn how to visualize data and do more practice. You may learn SQL and Python in a parallel. It will help your mind to switch on different topics and probably the productivity will be higher. And the more you work with this tool, the more you learn and get to know this instrument. So my main advice is to practice more and don't wait until someone will accept your application. Just do practice. Use Kaggle and different other sources uh, to analyze data, uh, train your skill there, and so you will be able to pretend on more payable jobs. And the advice number two is don't be afraid to apply even if you don't know uh, something. For example, you skip the, I don't know, the statistic or you skip the probability theory. Nevertheless, still apply to know the tasks, to train your skills, so you will be more prepared for subsequent interviews. And one more trick. If you want to get data analyst or data science job, but you're at the early beginning of your study and you don't want to sit without job, you may apply on related vacancies, for example, researcher, and then 
in some time show your employer that you know SQL, you're starting to learn Python and start to implement those skills into your daily work. So your colleagues will see that, wow, this guy is knowing much more than we thought. And believe me, you'll get the promotion, you'll become data analyst, are able to move from one department to another. So don't forget for such a possibility and use your chance for any job. Okay, guys, this is it. Thank you for watching this video up to the very end. It was my first video after a long break, so I a bit forget how to do everything. If you have some questions, please write in the comments below. Probably I can make Q&A videos to share my experience and uh, I know my path in data analytics. Uh, so yeah, don't forget to subscribe my channel, click like and I'll see you soon for sure.